Terry McLaurin has groomed into one of the league's top wide receivers in just under two years. McLaurin was far from a star at Ohio State, but has flourished in Washington. Back at the 2019 NFL Draft, McLaurin didn't get taken until the 76th selection in the third round. McLaurin has shown that no matter who Washington has behind center, he's going to eat. And you know who else needs to eat? You. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Darren, take it away. HelloFresh is a meal delivery service that would deliver fresh and tasty ingredients right to your front door. I like to cook pretty regularly with my girlfriend, and taking the time to run to the store to grab ingredients is not only time consuming, but sometimes you forget stuff and nobody likes taking multiple trips. A fantastic plus is that the recipes supplied are easy to follow, giving you more incentive to break out that spatula. I'm gonna be honest guys, I was shocked to see fresh produce when I opened the box, but man was it delicious. I cooked barbecue pork burgers with spicy aioli and potato wedges for my family, but if pork isn't your thing, HelloFresh offers a meal for everyone to choose from, including a vegetarian option, low calorie, kid friendly, and the list goes on. Not only did using HelloFresh save me time from running to the store, but it also prevented waste. We all know how easy it is to buy too much of one ingredient and not use it again for months. HelloFresh solves that problem with perfectly pre-portioned ingredients. They also know that we're all busy people, so they're incredibly flexible. You can add extra food if you want to feed more people or even go my route and get the larger box and feed your family. HelloFresh is committed to supplying you with safe meals during this time and has worked hard to ensure that all their employees and customers are remaining safe. Now, a quick taste test. Oh, it was juicy. That burger was fantastic and the family agrees. If you want fresh delicious ingredients delivered to your front door, go to HelloFresh.com and use our code JDPROD80 to get $80 off across 5 boxes including free shipping on your first box. Thanks HelloFresh for the meal and let's get right back to the video. Let's take a fast look at how Terry McLaurin has risen to NFL superstardom. Terry McLaurin was born on September 15th, 1995 in Indianapolis, Indiana. McLaurin attended Cathedral High School where he won Indiana's Mr. Football Award in 2013. Coming out of high school, McLaurin was considered a four-star recruit and was the number 36 wide receiver in the country. He committed to play college football at Ohio State University. McLaurin appeared in six games as a freshman, but didn't record a single catch. He played a minimal role as a sophomore with 114 yards and two touchdowns. McLaurin was an Ohio State team captain for the next two years, though, improving as a junior with 436 yards and six touchdowns before for having the best year of his collegiate career as a senior with 701 yards and 11 touchdowns. McLaurin showed that he was a fantastic route runner, displaying that once again at the Senior Bowl. That route running talent has certainly translated into the pros, easily the biggest reason for his success in the league. At the 2019 NFL Draft, the Washington Redskins selected McLaurin with the 76th pick in the third round. The pick was made after Washington took McLaurin's college quarterback, Dwayne Haskins, who was taken 15th in the same draft. Haskins hasn't exactly worked out, but he did steer the organization in the right direction, taking McLaurin. McLaurin was hyped up all training camp and given the nickname Scary Terry, and boy did he deliver. I personally worked that training camp and I got to see Terry McLaurin every single day. I even got to write a story on him after I got to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. A lot of people could already tell that McLaurin was going to be a star just in training camp, and boy, we did not know what was about to happen next. McLaurin went on to lead all rookies with 65 5.6 receiving yards per game, finishing the year with 919 yards and 7 touchdowns in 14 games. He was named to the PFWA All-Rookie Team. This season, McLaurin has built on that, being one of the top receivers in the league statistically, with 963 yards and 3 touchdowns in only 11 games. Washington has been a mess behind center, with McLaurin having to play under 4 different passers already in his young career, something other receivers in his class haven't been plagued with. Despite that, McLaurin has still emerged as a top receiver, but how about wideouts taken before him? With the 25th overall pick at the 2019 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens selected Oklahoma's Marquise Brown. Brown didn't get any Division I attention in high school, leading to him going to community college. After one season, he transferred to Oklahoma, where he went for over 1,000 yards in his only two years with the Sooners. He was named first-team All-Big 12 as a junior before he decided to declare for the NFL Draft. Now, 
Now, there were plenty of worries about his durability and small stature from scouts, but his speed and skill were definitely present in college. Brown went on to have a good rookie campaign with 584 yards and 7 touchdowns, playing a role in Lamar Jackson's breakout MVP year. Through 10 games in 2020, Brown has recorded 431 yards and 2 touchdowns. The New England Patriots owned the 32nd selection where they took Arizona State's Nikhil Harry. Harry dealt with an injury early in his pro career before finally returning to the field and, well, disappointing. He had only 105 yards and two touchdowns on the year. He has improved this season, but it's been far from impressive. Harry has 213 yards and a touchdown in nine games. 36th overall in the second round, the San Francisco 49ers drafted South Carolina's Debo Samuel. Samuel came out of South Carolina after being named first team All-SEC one year removed from a season-ending foot injury. Samuel was great when on the field and showed the ability to be a pro receiver, but injury concerns worried many. He had a good first year in San Francisco, recording 802 yards and three touchdowns en route to helping the 49ers to the Super Bowl. He also owns the bizarre record for most rushing yards in the Super Bowl as a wide receiver with 52. Samuel Howes dealt with some injury in 2020, playing in only five games with with 318 yards and a touchdown. Ole Miss's A.J. Brown was taken 51st by the Tennessee Titans. Brown was the top receiver for the Rebels after making first-team All-SEC as a sophomore and junior before deciding to leave for the draft. Most analysts saw Brown as a top receiver in the class. He played a role in the revived Titans offense in 2019 along with Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry, recording 1,051 yards and 8 touchdowns. Brown is having another great season in 2020, already with 638 yards yards and eight touchdowns in nine games. With the 56th overall pick, the Kansas City Chiefs selected Georgia's Miko Hardman. Hardman was a two-time All-SEC second team nominee with the Bulldogs. He was a solid receiver and a great special teamer, using his raw athleticism to make plays. The Chiefs mainly used him as a return man during his rookie season, and Hardman excelled, being named a second team All-Pro and making the Pro Bowl. He added 538 yards and six touchdowns receiving, playing a role on the Super Bowl winning Kansas City team. In 11 games this season, Hardman has 434 yards and three touchdowns. The Philadelphia Eagles own the 57th selection where they took Stanford's J.J. Ortega-Whiteside. Ortega-Whiteside had over 1,000 yards en route to being named second team All-Pac-12 as a junior. He was expected to be a 50-50 ball receiver in the pros, but it's safe to say that he hasn't impressed. The Eagles missed on a draft pick. Shocking. Shocking. Ortega-Whiteside played in every game as a rookie, recording only 169 yards and a touchdown. Now he's on the COVID-19 list in 2020 after playing in seven games with only two catches for 45 yards. 59th overall, the Indianapolis Colts drafted Ohio State's Paris Campbell. Campbell was a three-time All-Big Ten member, showcasing his speed before making the jump to the pros. His time in the pros has been as unfortunate as it gets. The reality is that we still don't even know what Campbell is. He had a broken foot, sports hernia, and a broken hand as a rookie, limiting him to 127 yards and a touchdown. He started 2020 with 71 yards in two games before he suffered a PCL and MCL injury that has landed him on injured reserve. UMass's Andy Isabella was taken 62nd by the Arizona Cardinals. Isabella led the nation with 141 and a half yards per game as a senior at UMass, being rated as the top wide receiver in college football by Pro Football Focus. Isabella was seen as a speedster coming out of college, but many worried about how he didn't have to play any higher level teams at UMass. He played a minimal role as a rookie for the Cardinals, recording just 189 yards and a touchdown. Isabella has had a slight increase in workload in 2020, with 217 yards and two touchdowns through 11 games. With the 64th overall pick, the Seattle Seahawks selected Ole Miss's DK Metcalf. Metcalf had his fair share of injuries with the Rebels and only played one full season, going for 646 yards and seven touchdowns as a redshirt sophomore. Metcalf was a freak at the combine, but his poor three-cone drill worried a lot of people. The Pittsburgh Steelers owned the 66th selection in the third round where they took Toledo's Deontay Johnson. Johnson went for 
over 1,000 yards receiving once at Toledo and impressed on special teams, being named Max Special Teams Player of the Year as a junior. He can play all over the field wherever he is needed, but his drops were something concerning in college. Johnson had a solid rookie campaign with 680 yards and five touchdowns. Already in nine games in 2020, Johnson has 537 yards and four touchdowns. 67th overall, the San Francisco 49ers drafted Baylor's Jalen Hurd. Hurd only played one season at Baylor after transferring from Tennessee, being named Big 12 Offensive Newcomer of the Year as a senior. Hurd was an offensive weapon in college, sometimes even playing running back. His switch to the pros has been rough, to say the least. He didn't play as a rookie due to a back injury, and after recovering from the injury, he tore his ACL this offseason that will keep him out of this season. And finally, with the 76th selection in the third round of the 2019 NFL Draft, the Washington Redskins selected Terry McLaurin. Washington has had its fair share of quarterback struggles, but they hit gold taking McLaurin. He's a star in the making, and this is only the beginning for Scary Terry. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more JD. We read all of our DMs and love hearing what you have to say.